In order to be equal on this subject, when it comes to presidents affecting society, I have to mention Obama. Electing a black president, just, just that by itself, without even going into the things that Obama talks about, just having a black president has stirred up the hornet's nest, has poked the hornet's nest of racism. It's forced discussions about racism, and some people would say that it has increased the racial divide. Well, the truth is, since the 50s, we haven't really dealt with racism. We've just sort of swept it under the carpet in hopes that it would just sort of disappear. It doesn't really work that way. So, you know, and especially since the left was already on this path of, well, we're going to play hardball because that's what the Republicans have been doing. So you combine, you know, feminism with uh, what people refer to as uh, social justice warriors, and then you mix in the subject of racism, and it's, uh, it's a very hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. And it has caused, caused a lot of division. Though this stuff is stuff that we need to talk about. And I think that element is something a lot of people see, they don't want to discuss, and I think that's a similar fear that people have of Hillary being president. Because if Hillary becomes president, um, the same way that issues around race have been stirred, issues about women, women's rights, women's issues in general, will be stirred. And I think people are very concerned about keeping the status quo and uh, spreading, you know, fear that uh, uh, Hillary will want to make life shit for guys. And they'll list uh, the most extreme feminists as, you know, the reason, well, we're going to get this if Hillary's president. And again, a lot of this stuff is not actually said directly, but it's pretty fucking obvious that it's what a lot of people are thinking. So, you can, you know, if you have that kind of feeling about Hillary, um, you can honestly say that, uh, well, it's, it's not uh, because she's a woman directly. It's, uh, and, but the real reason is, well, <clears throat> her being a woman will trigger more of these discussions that make us all uncomfortable. <clears throat> and as I've said in other videos, you know, sometimes we need to be a little uncomfortable in order to move forward. I think of a line from, isn't it an ever ending story? That, it has to hurt if it's to heal. And uh, some of us are feeling the pain right now. And it will pass. And in the future, we're going to wonder why we made such a big deal. So, yeah, Obama has contributed to a lot of what we're considering this racial divide. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it wouldn't matter what what his policies would be. It's just the fact that we have a black president. Now, there's a tweet that's floating around, 
can't remember exactly how it's worded, but can you imagine if in 2008 the same things about Obama would have come out about, you know, his treatment of women and how many wives and how many children he's had from different wives, you know, uh, if that would have come out the same kind of thing as what came out about uh, Trump, you know, if if Obama would have had Trump's past and Trump's attitude, you can guarantee that people would be saying things like, well, he's a disgrace to his race and other such comments. But, you know, because it's Trump, it's excusable somehow. Because people are that scared of Hillary. People are actually terrified of Hillary. And a lot of the ter being terrified is that this uh, progressive push will continue. And guess what? It will. It will continue. And whether it makes us very uncomfortable or not, it's a hell of a lot better alternative than going back to the 1950s.